after the trauma of seeing a random man who allegedly killed his family and himself after a meltdown in a petrol station in South Africa. The next thing so close to such is Mitlali's story that just took place at one of the petrol stations. Hi T-Squad and welcome to the T-World. The content creator says that the man walked up to her in an aisle and stared at her. She says she then asked him what he is looking at, of which he busted into threats, screams while he holds her pants. Like any other lady, she felt so shaken with so much fear. A guy just threatened to shoot me at a garage because I asked what he's looking at. How do you walk up to me in a store aisle, stand and stay, then get upset when asked what's up? I was so scared because he had his hand in his pants, so he actually could have done it, she narrates the horror. Imagine threatening to kill someone at a garage in broad daylight. I'm still low-key shaken. The whole time I was standing there thinking he'd actually get away with it. This man was screaming at me, swearing guys, swearing like I did something to him because I asked what he's looking at. Even the patrol attendants outside asked him what's wrong when he walked out. I, I can't believe it, she added. A cherry on top, nobody said anything. A T squad, we walk around our own birth country very troubled and scared because a man can just decide to exercise his non-existent right over us and still get away with it. To add on to that, nobody even helped her amongst the whole chaos and now she is judged and pinned that she probably caused the man to retaliate. Can a woman ever be free and safe in South Africa? A T squad, what would you have done? That's it for now T squad. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.